U.S. President Joe Biden says he's taking strong action against Russia over its moves in eastern Ukraine. AP Washington correspondent Sagar Magani reports. The president says Vladimir Putin has flagrantly violated international law. This is the beginning of a Russian invasion of Ukraine. And the U.S. is ordering heavy financial sanctions on Russian banks and oligarchs. They share in the corrupt gains of the Kremlin policies and should share in the pain as well. The president's also moving more U.S. troops within Europe to protect Baltic states bordering Russia. The European Union earlier agreed on its own sanctions against Moscow, and Germany took a big step by moving to block a major gas pipeline from Russia. Sagar Magani, Washington. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken says he has canceled plans to meet his Russian counterpart in Geneva later this week as Russia presses ahead with recognition of separatist regions of Ukraine. I agreed to meet Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov this week on February 24th to discuss our country's respective concerns about European security, but only if Russia did not invade Ukraine. Now that we see the invasion is beginning and Russia has made clear its wholesale rejection uh, of diplomacy, uh, it does not make sense to go forward with that meeting at this time. I consulted with our allies and partners, all agreed. Uh, And today I sent uh, Foreign Minister Lavrov a letter informing him of this. Blinken told reporters on Tuesday that Russia's actions indicated Moscow was not serious about a diplomatic path to resolving the crisis. NATO Secretary Jens Stoltenberg said Tuesday there was every indication Russia was continuing to plan a full-scale attack on Ukraine following its recognition of separatist regions in the country's east. With well over 150,000 troops and fighter jets and attack helicopters. Many units are now forward deployed in combat formations. They are out of their camps in the field and ready to strike. The NATO chief called the movement of Russian troops in Donetsk and Luhansk a further invasion of Ukraine following Moscow's annexation of Crimea. He said that the alliance response forms remains on high readiness but is not yet being deployed although some moving troops, ships, and planes into the Baltic states and near the Black Sea to defend other NATO members. We have over 100 jets at high alert, and there are more than 120 Allied ships at the sea from the high north uh, to the Mediterranean. We will continue to do whatever is necessary to shield the alliance from aggression. EU members on Tuesday agreed a package of new sanctions against Russia that aims to inflict severe damage on the country after its recognition of breakaway regions in Ukraine, the EU policy, foreign policy chief said. The 27 members of the EU unanimously agreed the measures at an informal meeting in Paris on the sidelines of an international forum, EU foreign policy chief Joseph Borrell said. This package of sanctions that has been approved by unanimity by the member states will hurt Russia and it will hurt a lot. And we are doing that in a strong coordination with our partners, US, UK and Canada, with whom I've been in close contact during these hours. So what is this package? Targets for asset freezes and bans include 351 members of the Duma, Russia's lower house of parliament, who appealed to Putin to recognize the two regions as independent. Eighteen civilians have been killed in two suspected jihadist attacks in the west of Niger, near the Sahel nation's border with Mali, the government said on Tuesday. The attack happened on Sunday when unidentified armed bandits on motorbikes attacked a truck traveling between villages near Niger, Burkina Faso, and Mali.
Hi, thank you for watching. I hope the videos are useful for you. Please subscribe to my channel using the button below.